hello everyone welcome to the video session on sulfur hexafluoride circuit breaker here uh, sf6 gas is used as an arc quenching medium hence the name sulfur hexafluoride circuit breaker SF6 is an inert gas and thermally stable gas. Uh, when I say inert, it means uh, there is no chemical reaction that will occur like mineral oil. Uh, uh, in the previous video, we were discussing about oil circuit breakers where oil is used as a arc quenching medium. So when, whenever the oil uh, quenches the arc, the oil, uh, the, the carbon particles will be produced. So there, there are some chemical reactions in mineral oil, but no such problem in SF6 gas. And thermally stable means uh, there is no decomposition that can occur in the SF6 gas. And the, the main property of SF6 gas is it has got good arc quenching and insulating properties and it has a strong tendency to absorb free electrons so uh, the, the arc between fixed and moving contacts exist because of the ionization or electrons present in the gap if those electrons are uh, uh, deleted or absorbed then the current cannot flow between the contacts in the air gap between the contacts so the the, the to ab absorbing the free electrons is possible with the help of sf6 gas used as a arc quenching medium and its density is five times that of air and its heat conduction is 1.6 times that of air uh, it is um, like compared to air this can uh, conduct the air very fast i mean conduct the heat very fast it is also non inflammable non poisonous and odorless so these are the properties that makes suitable for uh, arc quenching in circuit breakers let us see the construction of circuit breakers as a sf6 circuit breaker so this is the moving contact and this is the fixed contact moving and fixed contacts are hollow cylinders they have holes on its sides and they are uh, coated with tungsten and uh, there uh, there is an uh, a reservoir for keeping the SF6 gas stored and uh, when the contacts are closed the uh, the surrounding space between in, in the contacts will be filled with SF6 gas at some pressure and uh, a separate reservoir uh, is used for storing the SF6 gas So the tips of both the contacts are coated with copper and tungsten arc resistance material so that the contacts will be kept safe even if the arc is struck often. Since the SF6 gas is costlier, uh, we can recondition and reuse after each operation of breaker. Unlike mineral oil used in oil circuit breaker where the oil has to be replaced, here we can do some recondition and you can reuse the SF6 gas for multiple operations. So hence it is suitable for high voltage operations. It's ranging from 115 kilovolt to 500 kilovolt. Let us see the operation of SF6 circuit breaker. So during no fault condition, both the contacts will be in closed condition and uh, as i said before the contacts are surrounded by sf6 gas at a pressure of 
3 to 5 kg per centimeter square. When contacts are opened, an arc is struck between fixed and moving contacts. So the valve between the arcing chamber, this is called arcing chamber and uh, the valve opens and the gas SF6 gas at 14 kg per centimeter square enters into the arcing chamber. Now this high pressure SF6 gas will absorb the free electrons that are present in the arc. So therefore the free electrons become immobile negative ions that is immobile means they cannot move freely from one point to the other therefore uh, the, the, the current cannot flow through the air between the contacts. So hence the medium between the contacts recovers its dielectric strength at a faster rate and R can be extinguished. So the, when the medium between the contacts recovers its dielectric strength faster that is a deionization happens and the R cannot re-strike further. This is, this is how an SF6 circuit breaker in a substation looks like. So these are the incoming lines and these are the outgoing lines. This is the place where the arc quenching happens. Advantages of the SF6 circuit breakers. As I said before, SF6 gas is non-inflammable and the byproducts produced after decomposition are not explosive. And uh, no current chopping is possible and capacitive currents are interrupted without restriking. In the previous video, I told you about current chopping and capacitive currents uh, interruption. Anyway, we will discuss about these two topics in the further videos. Arcing time is very short because SF6 gas of uh, I mean, uh, quenches the arc at faster rate therefore the contacts are very safe and uh, one more thing is you can keep the contact gap very small you need not bring the moving contact very far from the very far away from the fixed contact even a small gap is enough to quench the arc the disadvantages main disadvantage is uh, the byproducts produced uh, when the SF6 gas is released may be dangerous to the operating personnel and uh, since SF6 gas is costly the circuit breaker itself becomes costly and uh, SF6 gas has to be reconditioned after every operation of the breaker so hence an additional equipment is required for this purpose of reconditioning Thank you.